Okay, and we're in a new match against Cleanster. <laughs> Classic Cleanster. Let's see here. Let's bring this back. Look at the pack really quick. We've got a couple interesting synergies here. And what I've come to realize is the synergies are just next to each other. So, are any of you next to each other? No. That's bad. I like Ladybug the most out of these three. I'm going to roll one. You're next to each other. You're good. I'm going to take you in the front. Oh. Sure. Super Auto Pumpkins. And basically, I'm just hoping that if he has a moth, that you'll trade with it. And you did? Fantastic. Alright, this next match doesn't matter as much. I'll refresh my tennis balls. I shouldn't have combined you. That was really bad. Uh, Gecko is not what I'm looking for here. Luckily, I'm not going to get punished for this, but that was actually pretty bad on my part to combine them right off the bat. I should have waited a turn because two 2-1 two bodies is a lot stronger than a 2-3-2 two, two bodies. Uh, this will trade really nice though. Oh, he swapped it. That's interesting. I don't necessarily think that that was the best idea. But either way, it worked out. Okay. Definitely taking you. I'm going tennis ball. Uh, I like both of these. I'm going to go you because you synergize more with another pet that I'm fond of. I'll combine you. I want to make the guinea pig work. Sell you, combine you. Roll one. Freeze you. Roll one. And then what am I looking for for tier three? I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a leech. That'd be amazing. Uh, I didn't, I'm kind of missing the yak koala combo, which is okay. Um, what else? I heard that flying fish and owl combo. That doesn't make any sense. I think that this is fine. I think my ordering is okay. This is going to die no matter what you fight against. So maybe swap you like so. I don't know if he's going to keep the 2-1. I think he's going to have a 3 attack minion at least. Actually, let's do this. And go here. Because I, I'm worried he's going to put his moth up. And it's going to be a 4 or 5 HP unit. Okay, so no real big punishment. That's interesting. I really like how my opponent's going mole here, because I know how to play around it. Dodo bird is nice, but not really what I'm looking for. Freeze the ferret. Roll one. I don't want to buy a ferret yet. I think I just roll... That was super lucky. Uh, I do want to roll for a leech, and I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sell so both of you. Actually, I uh, sell so you and you. Buy a leech early on, which is phenomenal. And then I'm going to get the plus two on you later. That's amazing. Fantastic. Getting an early camel is incredibly strong. I can really respect my opponent for building that early on. Tying is amazing when going a leech here. I would love a level 2 camel. Oh, I'll take it. Freeze you. I'd like to buy you, but I'm not going to waste my time with it right now. Maybe I will. Because the plus two, plus two is going to be really nice. Or, uh, no, it's not going to be plus three, plus three yet. But I'm happy with it. <clears throat> I would like another unit. Who am I looking for? Uh, maybe I'm looking for like an ox or something just to throw in there. Uh, honestly, I'm not really looking for much. Uh, maybe I could have gone an owl here. And that would have been fine to sell it and then buff the camel by selling the guinea fowl. Maybe that was, or the guinea pig. Maybe that was a play. Uh, I don't think that that would have been the wrong choice. What else could I have done? 
break friendly toy tier two or lower how does this work with this oh because you break the radio oh this pack is so cool they did such a good job whoever ordered that around save you for another turn you're not worth getting the extra one hp on I mean, I could do that since I'm kind of stuck here. It gives me another out for level up. That's really funny. I think I take you and I skip. I freeze you. You'll be sold soon. So invest the gold now. And even though I'm going incredibly greedy, I still think this is correct. Yeah. You oh my, a level three. What the hell? Um, that is pretty intimidating, but there's a way to counter it really hard. And that's the first part of it. I'll take it. I think I sell you. I buy you, sell you. No, I don't sell you yet. And I'm looking for one unit in particular, and that'll take care of these issues. This is just bad. <laughs> That's actually just like negative synergy. I am excited with how strong this uh, leech is getting, though. It's always a really good sign. Uh, this mole is scary. I know how to take care of this mole, though, and he's only going to go a four squad. I just need to line it up correctly. What did he do? He got rid of his chocolate cake with a snapping turtle. Okay. Um, I like going canned food here, but let's sell you. Normally, I would like to go blobfish. I think canned food is just better though. I could take a blobfish. Take another camel. Buy canned food, take another camel. Sure. It's pretty good. If I find a mantis, or a praying mantis, I can uh, use it to proc with the blobfish. That'll be really strong. I think he accidentally set up his team comp wrong with the snapping turtle. I think he just wasted some gold with that. And then getting a strawberry on a camel, that's just so weak. What are you even doing that for? The strawberries, I can look them up, right? They synergize with the Atlantic Puffin and the Dove. But that's the only synergy, and you knock out the chance of getting a Siberian Husky. I hate all of this. If his uh, manta ray was level 2, I'd be a little bit more worried. Look, he gave up on the mole. And if that's the case, I'm just not going to go the full build. 1, 5, 3, 3, 4. I could go poodle here. I could also f go for a six gold unit, but there, I mean, a six cost unit isn't that good compared to a poodle. You're giving a plus three, plus two. So I sack you, I buy you. You're useless regardless. Oh. Sack you, buy you. That's really tempting. I think I roll three times. And I know it doesn't really uh, work that well, but I'm still really happy with this.
Oh, that's funny. It gets the frog early. But double poodle is just really strong. I'll take it. Is it time to sell the camel? I'm giving plus two, plus four from this. I could keep them separate though and start stacking up you, which would be nice. Who do I like more here? I like the leech more. It's sad, but so you. I mean, but you're also getting, you're getting a double proc. So you get plus four, plus eight each turn. I think I sell the camel. That was a tough call. And then worse comes to worse. I think I give you a banana. And then I freeze the onion. I think that'll work well. I think I'm just going to outscale my opponent now. Nice. And then I give you onion. There's the micro, but it's okay. Carrot isn't even that bad on you. Because it'll help get you past that attack threshold. And let's just do a salad, and I think that's GG. Nice. That worked out extremely well. This will give a double proc on my Cobra, which is pretty weak right now. But then it'll send back. It'll get three hits. Uh, there's also Snake. I feel like Snake is just so much better. But there is a chance that you can make it work with the Cobra. I just haven't run into many Snakes. But um, I think that whoever made this pack was incredibly clever with the way, the way they set it up. I like how it's very user-friendly. And it's, it's just incredibly impressive overall. Nice. GG. Alright, and let's see what I get. Oh, I got a mask on. Fuck yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.